Hello, my spicy headed friends or non spicy headed friends. Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. Um, so today is a story time about how I found a coke that expired the year I was born in my autistic daddy's fridge, and how I was no longer mad that he didn't want me to live with him so a bit of backstory my daddy is my daddy was dead my daddy was a doctor so i was like you know doctor smart right so it was a normal saturday i went to spend some vacation time with him i'm running around the house you know little seven year old from the hood you know, six or seven. A little six or seven year old from the hood, running around his house, playing in his stuff. This man has so much stuff. They had like free sofas in his little one bedroom apartment, and there was stacks and stacks and stacks of clothes. My mama used to joke. She'd say, Robin, if you ever want money, when you go see your dad, just clean, just clean the sofas. And so one, I, I just thought she was playing until like one day I actually cleaned the sofas and I found like 3,000 Bermudan dollars. <laughs> just just chilling in his pocket, just vibing. Like I did his laundry and I was just pulling money out of his pocket and I found like 5,000. I was like, it's like, where are you rich here? So anyway, a different story. So I go in the fridge, you know I'm hungry, and at the bottom of the fridge, way in the back, of where it should be the vegetable drawer, I see something leaking. I'm like, what's this? Like a little, little brown stain growing up. And I was like, what's this? So I pull it out. I'm like, kind of Coke. I forgot what it said. I think it was Coke Cherry. It was some flavor that they discontinued. And I'm like, that was this. He's like, oh, I've been saving that. Do you want it? And then he, I look at him like, can I have it? Are you sure? And then, like, his face turns white. Like, I'm, I'm biracial. My dad is the white parent. But, like, the blood drained from his face. He's like, actually, no, give it to me. And at that point, <laughs> my autism is kicking. <laughs> my autism is kicking. There's some shit I'm not supposed to have. And I'm with the parent that doesn't beat me. At that point, I took off. I was like, zoom. <laughs> I took off to the room. I climbed up the little dresser. There was a little space between the ceiling and the dresser. I was just chilling on top of there. And he's like, Robin, can you come down? I was like, no. It's like, Okay, but whatever you do, don't drink the soda. I'm like, why? At this point, I don't want the goddamn soda. I just, I just want to see him stress. I just want to see him running around. I'm looking at him like, why? I don't even want the fucking soda no more. There's some shit he's telling me no for. I'm like, ooh, I want to see. And he's like, if you come down, I'll tell you. He's like, no, I think I'll drink the soda. So I'm like pretending to open it and looking at him. I'm like, like, and he's like, he's stressed. And I'm just like, this is fun. So then he's like, okay, if you won't come down, I'll come get you. So he goes to get a little step stool. At that point, I jump off this <laughs> off the fucking closet and I cut. At that point, I'm like behind the sofa hiding. <laughs> and I check the soda. I'm like, when did she expire? Because. I might realize this shit making my hands smell. This shit stink. I mean, this shit stink. I don't want this shit like that. This thing smell. <laughs> Lo and behold, the shit expired the year I was born. I was like, do I really want this? I was, I was thinking to myself, should I actually drink this? And then he grabs my leg and he pulls and he's like, gotcha. 
at a point I kick him in his forehead and I cut outside. I cut towards his car. I'm standing on top of his car and I'm like, Robin, I don't want you to fall. Robin, please don't fall. Your mama will kill me if you die. Robin, please. It's just, it's not stressed about me. It's just my mama, mama killing him. I don't know if my mama wasn't who she was. He would have actually left, left me on top of the car to drink the soda. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm looking at him like, what's so special about this soda? Why can't I have it? And then he's like, Robin, if you drink the soda, you might die. And if you might die, your mama might kill me. And I'm like, oh, you scared of mama. And I could not, I look at him, right? I'm looking at his face. I'm like, you scared of mama? He's like, yes, Robin, I am scared of your mother. If it was up to me, Robin, you could have the soda. But your mother will kill me if you get sick. And you might actually get sick. <laughs> Yo, I, yo, that's why I came from. I gotta be mad careful when I have kids because so, shit, I might actually have let them drink the fucking seven year old soda and they might actually I gotta be careful when I have kids. I don't want them to die on my ass. I was like, come on, oh, why is it because, oh, I let them drink like this seven year soda because, quite frankly, I wanted it too. And they just sort of died, yeah. So I put I got off the car because I'm like, okay, this man's genuinely fucking scared.